When I was a little girl, I lived in Oak Cliff with my grandmother, and I lived and was raised in DeSoto with my father. Sometimes in the summer, I would go visit my aunt who lived in McKinney. Now, every time we would pass by these different towns and neighborhoods, I was always curious as to, now, why do all these neighborhoods look so different from each other? Later, that curiosity would shape my understanding of the world. You see, it wasn't until then when I learned about socioeconomic status and the fact that your income affects how your neighborhood will look or how many resources that your neighborhood would have or lack thereof. See, me personally, I never had to walk far or drive far to go get groceries. Even in my grandmother's neighborhood, there is a fiesta right up the street that she still shops at till this day. And you may say that's a privilege or even a luxury, but it's not. It's a human right. And all people, no matter their zip code and no matter their income, should have access to healthy grocery stores. At SMU, I participated in undergraduate research that led me to a study about infrastructure deserts and food deserts. Now, as a human rights minor, I was more so interested in learning about food deserts. According to D Magazine, the Department of Agriculture found 88 separate food deserts in Dallas County. So when I found that out, I made a commitment to get involved and volunteer. So I made sure to start volunteering with an organization called The Harvest Project. And so The Harvest Project is a local community organization that distributes food out into South Dallas for free on a monthly basis. Then I started learning more and more about the issue of food deserts and how much it impacts black and brown people. So just to clarify, a food desert is an area that lacks healthy and nutritional resources like grocery stores and other healthier options. So for an example, a food desert would be an area that is filled with liquor stores and fast food options, and then you have a bunch of Dollar Trees, no really healthy gr grocery store in sight. So living in a food desert can cause nutritional deficiency. You leave people with relying on high calorie, low nutrients, and processed food. Also, it can cause an economic burden when you have people who are continuing to shop at fast food every day. That puts a strain on their household budget. Discrimination and systematic racism have impacted black, black and brown communities historically. And oftentimes, predominantly black and brown neighborhoods are often disinvested in. And it's still a current issue to this day. For example, I was so furious when I found out that over 450,000 residents in Dallas County live in a food desert. But I was more so furious when I found out that stores like HEB refuse to invest in communities like South Dallas and Oak Cliff. If you heard, HEB opened up another store in McKinney. And if you know anything about McKinney, they're good on grocery stores, trust me. <laughs> so when I found this out, I questioned myself and I'm like, why would they refuse to go out to a community that struggles and lacks those, those healthy options? And you can probably say, well, Carrington, something is better than nothing. But I would disagree because I go out into those communities and I talk to those people and I ask them, how did they feel about that? You know what they told me? They said, when you send a store, an original HEB store in a community like McKinney that is filled with a bunch of HEBs and Whole Foods, they're good, right? But you put a low value in a bootleg HEB in South Dallas called Joe V's that nobody knows anything about really, it tells them that you do not matter. You are not worth investing in. And that is my problem. So, I want to charge all of you guys to get involved with the food justice movement, whether it's volunteering, whether it's making donations to local community organizations, 
I'm going to shout out a few, for example. If you heard of Four Oak Cliff, if you heard of the, the Food Harvest Project, Four Down and Feed Oak Cliff, all of those are organizations that are working tirelessly every day to alleviate food insecurity in Dallas County. We also need to educate ourselves. A lot of people don't know about the food desert problem in our communities, and so it's up to us. We also have to advocate, even going to the city hall and address these issues. So do me a favor. When you get home, just put in the local grocery store in your GPS, whether it's closest or whether it's further away. Just think about that. And it doesn't matter. Until we realize that this is a human right that everybody should have, let's start here in Dallas right now and alleviate that problem. Thank you. I'm Carrington Bennett.